I think it's funny that the British picked it up from India and then they re-imported the British version into India and the Indians stopped playing the original version of the game. They started playing the <laughs> English British version of the game because it was originally a religious game. It was supposed to teach um, the cause and effect uh, and karmic consequences of, of human virtue and vice. Mm. It's called Moksha Patan. Moksha Patan in one of the Indian languages. So they had the, it was a kind of relig religious experience of playing this game and teaching people that the virtues would allow them to ascend quickly into a higher state of spiritual existence and then the vice would <sighs> swish them down. Send them, mm, uh, send them all the way down to the bottom very quickly. <laughs> Painfully true. Um, uh, and so to kind of train uh, the players in virtue. So we have the same images in the Christian mm. world, the the ladder of divine ascent, the Christian imagery of the serpent and what the serpent meant for mankind. It was very similar. We have a lot of ladders in the Bible and a lot of serpents in the Bible. So I wanted to get them linked into the, the theme of status exchange and what that means in a Christian way. So I think some, pe some people may worry that... Um... Assuming high status is always unchristian. This needs to be marked. Just, yeah. No, because this is this this also comes up a lot in the you know the the chat world, of you know if if, if I am saying either in you know Mother Abbas, it's role in in my own chat saying you can't do that you're not behaving, is that unchristian? Well, obviously no because I'm maintaining order right. But the the mm -hmm. the fear of all holding higher status as therefore necessarily pride prideful status or like luciferian you're saying you're trying to take god's role we need to we need to erase that quickly it's the same criticism that people have of the of the the church patriarchy mm -hmm. to say oh well why do you need a priest when you can just be a christian you don't need to have a priest this gamma problem again we... challenging the mm. priests the priests are there because they've been consecrated they're in this institutional role. We do expect them to behave in accordance with that institutional role, but we also expect to need that institutional role because otherwise who's going to be guiding the ceremonies? Who's going to be guiding the rituals for us? You know, you or I can't lady priest. <laughs> lady priest our way to a Eucharist, can we? Uh, that was a Centrism Games reference for anyone. My Centrism <laughs> Games, it's a good story. Just like I demonstrated at the beginning with, you know, somebody does need to be responsible for guiding uh and and i think yes. with the, the the i mean the male priesthood i approve absolutely women should not be priests are able to assume that role without doing the kinds of seduction roles that women do when we take on roles right i think i think as a teacher i get to you know be in the encouraging motherly compassionate role mm. that is okay for women but i don't see that the the liturgical role that the men assume with that hierarchy is ours. I don't think we belong in it. I think that's appropriate. We've seen how it, we've oh, yeah. seen how the lady priests disrupt it and we wrote about it too. <laughs> and, and there's something, there's something about the, the good things of women turn in the, in that kind of hierarchical position go foul. It has to be regulated because otherwise everything becomes a popularity contest instead of a proficiency contest. Mm. Because women don't care about proficiency. They care about popularity. So we're, we're back, back in the in, breakfast we're club. We're back in the breakfast club. <laughs> uh, Molly Ringwald. So, you know, the, the, the pretty rich popular girl. So she's she's clinging onto that status. And you see during the film, she's terrified of losing mm. it. Even though she's very unhappy. <laughs> she's quite miserable. Uh, as she's kind of discussing her family life and her relationship with her parents her relationship with her friends and then the bad boy judd nelson and the and the jock and the the nerd you know they've all kind of ganged up on her at one stage and they're saying you're uh surrounded by people you don't really mm. like you're just terrified of being cast out of the group you're ter you're miserable though but you won't give it up you see how that is the weapon that is used against women, how women use that against each other. You can't have snakes and ladders in that environment because if everything's a popularity contest, you're not going to take risks because you can't risk being unpopular. Right. Whereas men are taking risks to be unpopular in order to get somewhere, get to the end. The Taming of the Shrew drama hinges on 
their willingness to take risks and to uh, be unpopular in order to maneuver all of the characters around them. Because Petruchio, the the one who ends up marrying uh, Lady Catherine the Shrew, he's very unpopular. <laughs> she doesn't like him. She doesn't even like him after they get married. He is the star of that story because of his willingness to be unpopular and to risk being hated in order to, to do what is necessary. Man, you've unpacked it. That's definitely it. I, I went, I have to go. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you did it. I've got, I've got, to, yeah, no, today, the, the, but... I've got the image with you have of the people falling off the ladder too. And. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yes. I mean, this, this is so much for myself, you know, I've gotten, you know, the masculine, hopefully willingness to take risks in terms of skill and being embarrassed at not being yeah. able to do this, that, or the other, but the popularity one, man, you're describing that. And that's just, you're just, I mean, high school, it was interesting the way you were describing high school as artificial. And I think it's, it's, it's almost, um, experimental and it's like, it's, it's stripped down purity of, test of those sorts of social interactions and women have to be popular we're just we're we're taking me back to the dark time (laughs) it's so hard not to be the popular one first of all petruchio her husband has risked everything in order to you know achieve the mission that he's been asked to to do with um the other the other suitor who wants to marry Bianca, the younger sister. Right. So the boys are all in this coordinated conspiracy to do what they need to do. But you see the outcome of the interactions in the female hierarchy shift very dramatically too. There's a snakes and ladders kind of experience with Bianca and her older sister, Catherine. Catherine starts out being this repulsive, loud, brash, opinionated, um, antisocial person. And she goes through a process of beginning to understand what the the men are doing. She has, throughout the the story, developed a true compassion for the men. She's not interfering in their mm-hmm. world. But when it comes to the closing scene and she's looking at her husband and, you know, there's a bit of awkwardness because they don't have a baby yet and, like, they haven't kind of sealed the deal in terms of their their marriage dynamic. And then the men make the bet, the trading places moment where everyone says, okay, we're going to play a game now. We're going to bet which of our wives will come. Is the most yes. Virtuous. Yes. Yes. And then they all, you know, so the men are gaming once again. They're betting on the virtue of their wives. And... So they're saying, oh, of course, I have the best wife. Am I? She's going to come <laughs> immediately. If, uh, everyone's bragging. Um, and none of them do because the women are all stuck in the popularity contest situation of, oh, we don't want to look like we're following orders and we don't want to look like we're doing whatever our husband's saying. You know, they get into this kind of self-policing herd mentality where, oh, we can't break rank. We don't want to be the wrong one. We don't want to be the woman who breaks rank here and, and you know, like... Uh, they keep sending servants back to tell the husbands, no, we're not coming. Right, She's right. not coming. And then Petruchio says, call Catherine, and she comes. And not only does she arrive. She gives the speech. The speech. Yeah. She's ragging the other women with her, and then she gives that magnificent speech at the end because she actually has a comprehension of the, of the dynamic of the game, that she's not playing, but she sees the rules. She understands the rules. <laughs> we, have, we have another super chat from Buzz Sauber. Saying, let me ask the professor, although I'm, I'm thinking maybe you can answer this better. Um, let me ask the professor about this. Are women by nature communist? No, I don't <clears throat> think so. Not in those, those terms. It takes a great deal of effort to get women to behave in a communist fashion. For example, in a monastery. Well, are women communist? Are, we, are women natural communists? Let me think. What woman is going to refuse a diamond ring or will deliberately reject a diamond ring to lower her status? I, the, women wear status. Women, women, I mean, women given their opportunity will protect their own children. It takes a lot to disabuse them of that impulse and they will protect their own interests. Yes. Tar baby, their voting record shows the tendency. Well, so I don't, so what they're voting for is to make everything their own house, their own household. Mm. Right. I don't think, I don't think they're voting communist. I think they're voting domestically. And of course we've, we've made the entire, um, public sphere into their own homes and so they're behaving as if they're 
um, taking care of their own property and their own families, but generically, it's a perversion right. of their desire to take care of their own families and their own their own mm. flock of of children. And when they don't have them, they turn everybody else into the proxies, not just their cats. Yeah. At what point have we been dealing with sin and at what point have we been dealing with the way we behave best together? Because some of the, some we were talking about the like the status exchange of play and games and mm. conversation and well sex, but we haven't got to that because I don't think men and women's conversation in those terms is identical. Um but just the the sort of social playfulness and joy and creativity that we none of that the, the the switching of status there is is good and fruitful. Here we have one of Vinket, the the snake the snake of Christ, the serpent in the garden, proposed a cheat code to knowledge and to equality with God, mm. the original inversion, the original offer of inversion. Instead of, you know, having the knowledge of good and evil, you won't die, you know, you'll be like God, your eyes will be opened. That sounds like the ladder of divine ascent. <laughs> Only it's a snake that's offering it to like, you. That's the trick. Mm. Well, it's, I suppose it's, you say it that way, you say it's the trick. We have one, a snake at the end here. Um, it's the it's the trick of saying you're not going to... Well, one, that, you know, we've, we talked about this at the beginning, the Lucifer wanting to have the 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 place in the hierarchy that seems to be in control but is um not recognizing what it means to be a creature the sort of fighting against the naturalness of being in relation i think i mean the, the what the servant promises them you will not you won't be subject to any of this anymore of the you will not die you will not slip down the ladder you will not trade status mm. you will not I mean, it isn't now we've talked this all through. It's like it is a kind of the social death of stasis, absolute stasis. Um, you know, I've made a gesture of I will lower my status now so that you can teach me something or one. Right. Or, you know, to a woman, I, you know, I've said this thing. If you laugh, then then you let me have high status for a bit. Right. My joke was funny. <laughs> and there are situations we get in online, but also in, in real life that it's like there is an absolute refusal to make that exchange, right? You're just, I'm going to be stuck mm -hmm. in exactly the high status and I'm never going to let you exchange with me. And from my, you know, I did the you, the, the impersonal you there, the, the French one, right? Um, that <laughs> my, my frustration with that is now I can't be friends. I don't know how to be friends with someone who won't allow that back and forth. So instead, I end up getting accused of only wanting high status. The ones you <laughs> some one sometimes to play with me and acknowledge that I made a funny, right? <laughs> that was funny. We're gonna laugh now, isn't you know? And vice versa, right? And and you want a game? I want a game. I want I want I want yeah. to actually be in the game. Yes, yeah, so I so I I sort of played with how I was going to do our opening little thing, and and the the thing I thought was thinking of this morning was I'll be angry, right? That that you won't play. You know why won't you play with me? That makes me really upset. Um, and that is the feeling. It's like when when so, when someone's not going to ever allow you to have high status. It's just like. Oh come on! And certainly, I have had an experience in in academia where someone just will not will not exchange. They won't let me have a, a, a you know a, a knowledge, and and they won't you know. And I'm willing to let them have the knowledge in qu asking questions, but it doesn't get reciprocated. And then you get stuck, and it feels frustrating and sad. Is that me being you know prideful, or is that me wanting to play? It sounds like playfulness. Well, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> but but recognizing that's that's the sort of where the stuck is right where you get the mm. end up in feeling of sinfulness and frustration and anger and all of those you know snaky feelings where is the game where where is the play where is the that we both get to be high status and we both get to be low 